Hello and welcome to another Subtandy 2021 video. In this video, we'll be featuring my Tandy 1000 HX computer. Sit back, relax, and let's get right to it. The Tandy 1000 HX was released in 1987 and features a full stroke keyboard with 92 keys as well as 12 function keys. It has an Intel 8088-2 running at 7.16 MHz and you can also speed it down to 4.77 MHz. Stock comes with 256 KB of RAM, can be upgraded to 640 KB, the ROM is 16 KB. Graphics modes include CGA, TGA at 160 by 200, 320 by 200, or 640 by 200 pixels, and of course the amazing Tandy graphics of 16 colors. For sound, there are three voices plus one sound channel, and the I.O. ports, you got a couple of joystick ports, monitor port, etc. We'll show those in a minute. That's got some expansion slots, we'll show that in a minute. It has got a built-in 3.5. Uh, inch uh, floppy drive that is 720 KB for the OS it has got MS-DOS 2.11 built-in ROM and a correction from my pickup video it can run Deskmate 2.0 but you actually need a disk for that as well as GW Microsoft basic which those were included originally with the machine so when you turn it on you can go right into DOS 2.11 but if you want Deskmate or GW basic you need to have floppy disks so let's uh, show you a little more about this machine up close. Here's a nice up close shot showing the Tandy 1000 HX. You probably noticed the keyboard is really white compared to my pickup video. Uh, prior to the pickup video, I'd given the keyboard just kind of a rough wipe down, went down in between the keys with Q-tips and alcohol. But since then, um, I have completely disassembled the keyboard put the keycaps in warm water with Dawn dish soap, let those soak, pulled them out, wiped them down, got them looking really good, vacuumed off the, uh, the board itself where the key, you know, the key caps I plug into. I've also washed and cleaned the top of the case really well. I need to completely disassemble it to clean the bottom part as well as internal things. That will be down the road. But for now, let's go ahead and show you more of ports and stuff. And you'll notice I'm spinning it. I've got it on a Lazy Susan. How cool is that? Up in the game on the production level and using a tripod. Here we can see the volume knob for the internal speaker. Headphone jack. Joystick port 1. Joystick port 2. We're now looking at the back of the Tandy 1000HX. Here you can see the model number and serial number badge. You'll notice some uh, yellowing around the sticker there. The whole machine was that color. Remember this came from a smoker collection. So yeah, I've, I've cleaned the top. You can tell the difference, you know, this color here compared to this. This is still more yellow because this back plate is actually part of the bottom of the case. And that will get cleaned once I completely disassemble it and that will be in a part two video. So back to the back of the machine, we've got the uh, printer port, external drive port, where you can hook up an external five and a quarter or three and a half inch drive, composite video, CGA, Tandy graphics video out. Here you can see the three expansion bays and down in the bottom is the plus memory expansion board that we showed in the uh, pickup video and uh, an empty slot here power supply and then on the uh, the other side over here is the power switch so let's go ahead and just turn that over real quick and show you that there is the power switch next we're gonna take a look inside the expansion bay one more time and then we're gonna power up the machine 
We are in handheld mode, looking inside of the expansion bay, where you can see the Memory Plus expansion adapter. My card is fully populated with 384k of memory. When you bought this from Radio Shack, it only came with 128 KB, which would be populated in these four sockets. But they were nice enough to add the sockets for this additional 256K. So you could add that. Maybe Radio Shack had an upgrade program for that. I'm not quite sure. But no matter what, my board is fully populated. So with the 384KB and the 256 built into the machine, that gives you 640KB, which is pretty cool. This board also gives you two expansion ports for like a modem, network adapter, things like that. Pretty cool. And thanks to Ian from Tales of Weird Stuff YouTube channel, I'll put a link in the description to his channel. He sent me this uh, Radio Shack catalog page from 1989 or 1990. We're on there. It lists out the Memory Plus expansion adapter for Tandy 1000 EXHX. Expand your Tandy 1000 EXHX to 384K. Adds a DMA circuit to speed up computer operations. There's the sockets that I talked about to add the 256K. Also provides connections for two plus upgrade boards. And you look here and you can see some of the other boards that they had. So let's, uh, here we'll actually go over this catalog kind of slow here. Check it out. And I will put a link to the PDF for this as well in the description if I still have that. And if I don't, reach out to me and I'll send you the PDF if you want it. No big deal. All right, now let's button this up, grab my monitor, and test the machine. Just a quick correction about this catalog page. This came from the Radio Shack 1988 catalog. So I just wanted to make that quick correction. And again, if you want the PDF, reach out to me and I can send it to you. My contact details are on my About page. If I can find the link again for it, I will include that in my description as well. Okay, hopefully this is going to catch the screen good without too much roll. I've got my uh, CM11 hooked up. The Tandy 1000HX is hooked up. And you'll notice the monitor is on a Tandy-specific monitor stand. I've had that thing for years. And I've been using it with my Commodore 64, and uh, the other day I went, wait. That looks like Tandy texture, and apparently it is, so that's cool. So I now have that as well for this. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the power going. I saw the 640K flash by. It's booting, so that's great. Command V 2.11, C prompt, and now we get the Tandy 1000HX menu. And remember, you can run a uh, personal desk mate. You can set the time and date. View programs on A. Start from the internal drive, which I do not have right now. But I did go ahead and make a Tandy desk mate floppy. Got that right here. Because desk mate is not in ROM. So let's pop this in here. Let's go ahead and press F2. And if the floppy is working on the machine, it'll just load. Uh, F1 for desk mate. There we go. Looks like things are working. And there is desk mate. Sweet. And we got music. Let's, uh, Let's tab over to that. Oops. Got to get used to this keyboard. Okay, music. And we're going to arrow down. How about Bach? Enter. We need to tab over to uh, play. Enter. And the sound is working. That is so cool. So the machine is apparently fully working, which is awesome. I've got one game on floppy. Let's go ahead and give that a try. 
before I give a game a try, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. These are the folks that support me on Patreon. Try to get that all in the shot. So thank you for your support. If you would like to support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. And now let's uh, give a game a try. And this game that I've made onto a floppy is Outrun. I was turned on that Outrun was made for the Tandy 1000 by Chris from Retro Tech Chris. So thank you, Chris, for the recommendation. I will put a link to his channel also down in the description. So let's go ahead and put the disc in the drive. And for giggles, view programs on drive A is F3. Oops, <laughs> we're gonna leave this in here. But I just realized the disc that I showed you is the uh, Tandy Deskmate. What I wanna do is outrun. So yeah, um, that's totally a blooper, but I'm gonna leave it in here. Uh, so yeah, Chris did uh, recommend uh, outrun. Uh, here's the floppy disk, the, pro the proper one. Oh my gosh, put that in there. Let me put that in there. View programs on drive three there. Searching the disk. Okay, there we go. Outrun. Not desk mate. Outrun. If all works well, this should bring up outrun and not desk mate. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, here we go. Check this out. We got CGA Tandy 4 color, Tandy 16 color, EGA VGA 16 color, or Hercules. We are going with the Tandy graphics, which is 16 colors. So number two. And this again is loading off a of floppy, so it's going to be a little bit slow. We'll do it in real time just to have it come up. But in the future, I've got some upgrades planned for this. A CF hard drive, a V20 CPU, real-time clock, etc. But you can hear the outrun music. Floppy is loading. We should get something up on the screen here in a minute if all is working. And there it is. Look at how nice that looks. Outrun for the Tandy 1000. Sweet. Well, thanks to my blooper and uh, just jeeber jabbering on a little bit. This video is a little longer than I normally like to have them, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down twice. Ring the bell for notifications of future videos. And yeah, this is my fourth and final Subtandy video. Link in the description for other Subtandy content. Check it out. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.